Hello, and welcome to the install guide for Sporty's VFR scenarios in X-Plane. We're going to quickly cover how to move the files that are downloaded onto your computer into the correct location and make sure you can enjoy the scenarios in X-Plane 12. Let's get started. Here we have one of our folders open, and this is where I have saved our X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12 programs. And here we have the X-Plane 12 alpha folder. I'll click on that. And here we have what's called the root folder. This is going to be important for this video. This is what contains all the little details and subfolders. Uh, but that's our, X, our X-Plane 12 root folder. We'll leave that open and then we'll double click on the zip file that we downloaded when we purchased this product. We'll go ahead and open the Sporties Scenario Loader. And in here we have a few PDFs. We've got an approach plate. We've got Sporties Scenario Loader Install Guide, VFR1 and VFR2 instructions. Those are the briefing text in case you want to print those out. And then we have our folders that we're going to drag over. So we'll start with aircraft. And I'm just going to take that, drag it into the X-Plane 12 folder, and you'll see it starts uploading these. Now, what is most likely to happen if you have an older version is it's going to ask you if you want to replace certain files in the destination with the same names and we want to say yes. This is a way to make sure you have the latest and most up-to-date version of the scenario loader and we'll make sure the program runs fluidly uh, when you're using it. So we'll go ahead and install all the uh, folder and details from the aircraft folder. Next let's do the same with custom scenery we're just going to take that and drag it on over to our X-Plane 12 root folder. We'll go ahead and replace any files similar in that destination, and we're all finished. Now I'm going to check my work. I'm going to go into the X-Plane 12 folder, and as we go down to custom scenery, you'll see that one of the options now is sporty scenery, and it is indicating today's date and time of when I installed it, so I know that went to the right place. If we go to aircraft, you'll see all the designated aircraft that we have options for. Uh, it won't show today's date or when you installed it. It goes another layer deeper. I'm not going to click into it and get into all the details, but the Cessna 172 SP is the only aircraft we can use to fly Sporty's VFR maneuvers. All right, so let's go ahead and fire up the program and make sure it's operating as we prefer. Okay, so here I am on the X-Plane 12 homepage. I'm going to begin by clicking on New Flight. And again, we'll choose the Cessna Skyhawk. If you can't find any other aircraft, it's got to make sure that it is the Cessna Skyhawk non-G1000 version. And I'm not going to choose any special airport. We'll do Claremont County weather and time of day default. Let's jump in the aircraft. Okay, we're now in the digital 172. I'm going to go ahead and scroll up to the top bar and I'm going to click on the plugins option and now we have Sporty Scenario Loader. We can choose our scenario. We'll have the three intro versions and then our VFR1 options. You'll see there are four pages under the VFR1 category and then we also have VFR2 which will have three pages of scenarios that we can go ahead and fly. And if the screen uh, for this scenario loader is a little small, you can click on the right side and drag it, and it'll make that window larger for you. So we hope this video might have helped you out with getting the program installed on your computer. Hopefully it helps you get to the digital skies quicker. And from all of us at Sporties, we'll see you next time.